Module 4, Credit Card Basics, An Introduction to Credit Card Use. Before you start using credit cards, it's important to fully understand what a credit card is and how it works. How you use and manage your cards will have a big impact on your financial future. Now, by talking about credit cards, we're not encouraging you to use them, but it's still important to know how to use them wisely and correctly. A credit card is more than just a piece of plastic. It's a loan, actually, from a financial institution that you can use and then repay over time by making monthly payments. Your credit card will have a set limit, and you'll need to keep your total balance under that limit. When you make payments, you'll be repaying the amount you spent plus interest, unless you make purchases and pay your full balance each month. When you use credit cards wisely, you'll have a simple way of managing your finances from month to month. It's important to note the difference between a credit card and a debit card. One major distinction is that a credit card is not linked to a bank account in the same way that a debit card is. With this in mind, it's important to remember that you can't deposit money in or withdraw cash from a credit card account. Many credit cards allow you to receive something called a cash advance, but this is not the same as taking actual money out of your account. You can only do this with a checking or a savings account. Credit cards are based on the notion that you will pay the credit card provider back for the things you purchase and the cash advances you're given. This is why they're called credit cards, because it's all about your financial credibility. A credit card looks something like this. When you make purchases over the phone, someone generally asks for your credit card number, the expiration date, and your name as it appears on the card. Notice that the card doesn't have the word debit on it. This is one of the primary ways that you can tell that this card is a credit card. There are a few different types of credit cards you should know about when choosing to apply for a credit card. General purpose credit cards can be used to pay for anything from clothes and food to airplane flights. Visa and MasterCard are examples of credit card issuers. If you want some flexibility in the amounts that you spend and repay month to month, a general purpose credit card generally will meet your needs. Keep in mind that if you don't pay off your purchases in full from one month to the next, interest is charged on the remaining balance. Store cards, also known as single or limited purpose cards, are credit cards that can be used only in a specific store or for a specific purpose. Department or clothing store cards are examples of store cards. The interest rate on this type of card is typically a lot higher. Many stores may offer a special promotion, for example, 15% off your first purchase when you apply for an account, but with the higher interest rate, it may not be such a great idea in the long run. Traditional charge cards require you to pay for purchases of services in one lump sum within a given period of time. Usually you don't have to pay interest on this sort of credit, but you are required to pay the balance in full each month. Charge cards also may be called travel and entertainment cards. Some examples are the American Express and Diners Club charge cards. So to be clear, credit cards are not free money. You must pay for all the purchases you make with your credit card. So why would anyone use them? Here are a few benefits. You don't have to carry cash or write checks. You can use your card to pay for unexpected emergency expenses, such as car repair and medical bills. If occasionally you don't have cash available for necessities, such as food, water, or gas, you can still purchase them. You will receive a monthly statement, which includes a record of all of your purchases, so you can track how much you're spending. You can consolidate all of your spending into a single monthly payment. You may receive a lot of other benefits. These might include purchase protection. If you buy something and then find out later that you could have paid less for it, some credit cards will pay you back the difference. Some credit cards will also extend the warranties on things you buy, which can be a big benefit when you buy electronics and other expensive items. Clearly, credit cards can offer some big benefits, but they can also get you into trouble if you don't use them carefully. Here are some things that you should remember about credit cards and remain cautious about. You are responsible for the charges that you make on the card. Things you buy may cost more than you expect due to accumulated finance charges. If you mismanage your credit card account, you may incur fees such as overlimit and late fees. You'll need to set a budget and make sure you can pay back whatever you're spending. Beware of impulse buying, which can break your budget. Late payments or going over the spending limit on your credit card can adversely affect your credit score. No matter what you use your credit card for, it's important that you always pay at least the minimum amount due, as shown on your monthly statement. If you can pay your entire balance off each month, that's even better, and will help you avoid high interest costs. Make your payments on time, every time. Make sure your total spending is within the limit for your card.
Never spend more than you can afford to pay back. Consider this guideline. Credit card spending and other borrowing, not including rent and mortgage payments, should generally not exceed 20% of your after-tax income. Watch out for these trouble signs. You don't know how much you owe until the bills arrive. You often pay your bills late. You are often unable to pay the minimum credit card payments. You frequently approach or go over your credit limit. You use your credit lines or cash advances to pay bills. If you run into problems with your credit cards, call your creditors and talk to them directly. You may be able to arrange a payment schedule. And stop using your credit cards. Credit cards offer convenience and give you a simple way to track all of your spending from month to month. That convenience requires a lot of responsibility. By managing your card usage properly, you create a track record. Lenders are more likely to lend you money for larger, more important purchases, such as a new car or a house. Again, it's all about your financial credibility. As you use a credit card properly, it will show that you know how to manage your money wisely.